How difficult is it to port Flux and Silverlight apps over to HTML5? Well, it depends on the application, obviously. But if you follow the right patterns and practices, we find it fairly easily. So uh, what we really push for is to use an MVVM pattern, mm. uh, which stands for a model view, view model. Uh, it's a mouthful, but it really helps you organize applications. It's also something that Flex and Silverlight developers are very familiar with. So when it comes time for port, you can use a library in JavaScript, like Knockout, that gives you that MVVM support and makes the transition much more smooth. What it also allows developers to do is focus on porting the business logic rather than porting lines of code. Oh, no kidding. So how does that work? I mean, is that one of the things that they need to be considering as they're moving forward with it, that it's a business logic decision as opposed to a code decision? Yes, uh, we find it uh, much more uh, effective to port business logic looking at the full object model, properties of an object mm -hmm. model, events, things like that uh, as a whole and at a much higher level than trying to go line by line and port code because certainly there's not going to be the equivalent of every line of code in both platforms. So is that one of the primary things that we sh should be thought about before a developer begins a port? Is the overall holistic view of it? Absolutely. You want to have a big picture of what your application does uh, and, and all the business rules, everything you need to know uh, in the platform you're currently working in, and all of that's going to translate into HTML5 and JavaScript as well. So what are the benefits of shifting over to HTML5 and JavaScript? I would say the number one benefit is mobile. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's what everyone wants, you know, um, and the, the driving factor is usually uh, what we hear coming from our customers is, hey, my boss wants to use his application on an iPad. You know, okay. <laughs> every, everyone says that, and uh, you know, we hear that. Uh, we, we certainly have our bosses that want to see mm -hmm. the, the uh, sales dashboard on an iPad. So um, you know, a lot of developers are being tasked with, hey, uh, you've built this rich internet application in Silverlight or Flex. Uh, it's, it's wonderful, but hey, uh, when I bring it up on an iPad or an iPhone, uh, or any other mobile device, it's, it's not functioning. So uh, a, a natural transition is to begin to port to HTML5 and JavaScript. So last question for you. Do you anticipate a time when porting from one platform to another is either going to be easier or basically trivial? Sure, when the whole world's running on JavaScript. Yeah, sure. right? <laughs> um, uh, I, I think uh, it, it, we've kind of all come to the agreement that HTML and, and JavaScript are the ubiquitous language that pretty much if you have a computing device, they can run on it. So uh, I do see a time like that coming. I, I don't know when it'll be, but I look forward to it. Great. Well, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate it. Thank you.